Lauren here today to do a quick video just talking about series that I've read where I really loved the first book. Um, although I haven't completed all of these series, sometimes, sometimes due to just me not being able to get to the book easily, one or two of them, that <laughs> one or two of them, one of them, the final book hasn't actually come out yet, so, but I have largely finished these series, and so I will jump right in with my first pick. Although I feel like this is going to be a little bit more of a controversial pick, um, I loved the first book in the Divergent series. I liked the way it established the premise. I liked Triss as a main character and what she was striving to do. The series as a whole was not perfect and the second and third book did not live up to what the first book set up in my opinion, but the first book was really solid. I really enjoyed my read through it. Second book is one I have. Uh, it is The Children of Time in the Children of Time series, the second book being Children of Ruin. It is a series by Adrian Tchaikovsky. It is hard sci-fi. It has giant space spiders and first contact and evolution and space travel. And while it drags a little bit in the middle, it was just absolutely a phenomenal book. I cannot recommend it enough. Children of Ruin, not so great. Kind of samey, but this first book, uh, Next one, um, this book I don't have on hand, but I do own it now, and that is Kings of the Wild from the Band series by Nicholas Eames. I know some people seem to love it, some people hate it, some people fall in the middle, and I'm one of the people that loves it. There was something about the feeling of going on an adventure with friends that I loved. I loved getting the band back together and having this band be basically a bunch of crusty old men at this point. And it was just, it was so much fun, in my opinion, following these guys. The second book, Bloody Rose, still good, not as amazing. I have high hopes for the third and final book in the series, though, that I'm hoping will be coming out in the next year or two. I think it was scheduled to come out last year, but as with many things, COVID got in the way. My the fourth series where I loved the first book is the Devabad trilogy uh, with the City of Brass by uh, S.A. Chakrabotri, or Borti. I always say that wrong even when I'm reading it. And this one actually took me by surprise a little bit, uh, not even because I had like low expectations. I had fear of overhype. I had only heard good things about this book. And when I only hear good things, I get a little nervous about it being overhyped, but I was fully proven wrong. It was amazing. The storytelling was sublime. The world was unbelievably vibrant and the characters were just top notch. If you're looking for a high fantasy book or port like kind of portal fantasy, high fantasy book where you're introduced to a culture that you may, be, may not be as familiar with, uh, which for me, I am not familiar with a lot of the Middle Eastern folklore, so I didn't really know a lot about jinn going into it, and a lot of the things that are talked about are new to me, but it was just, the author did an amazing job with it. I cannot recommend this book enough for the experience you get out of it. This is the one where I haven't finished the series, but it is all published. I crushed out City of Brass and the sequel, um, City of, or Kingdom of Copper, very quickly. And then I got into a reading slump and I really struggled with Empire of Gold, but I'm hoping to go back to it soon. Next is the Shadow of the Fox series. This is a high fantasy Japanese inspired story. Uh, you follow two main characters. One is an assassin, one is half Kitsune. And it's just this little travel, like the first book especially is so cute. It's a little traveling story with these two like little innocent, naive little cinnamon rolls. One is just makes me think of Aang. The, the Kitsune character makes me think of Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. And the assassin character 
has been raised pretty brutally for his training and so like seeing his eyes open to like kindness is really fun I just it's YA so the story isn't super complex so if you're looking for something really intriguing or twisty like this might not be the book for you but this is just a sweet fun adventure with two people who become friends and just have that kind of like opposites attract vibe because of their personalities super good the entire series just did a real was really awesome but this fir first book really struck a chord and then the final book i have on this list is all systems red from the murderbot series by martha wells this is another sci-fi uh series however this one unlike the Children of Ruin is like comedy sci-fi. You are following basically a murder bot, this kind of cybernetic mercenary, and she has social anxiety, she hates humans, she loves soap operas, and I just chuckled so much while reading this book, and in the end, like, even though these really actiony things happen, a lot of the characters end up being just really wholesome, including the main character herself, and I'm about three books in now, there are a handful more, I think their book six has come out recently, and they're largely novellas so far, but it is just like a fun trip with somebody that's both humorous, but also relatable on so many levels, and I cannot, as I've said with so many of these books, I cannot express to you how much I love this series, and this first book in particular just really hooked me on it. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know below what book series you guys have read where you loved the first book. Or tell me which books that uh, you disagree with on my list. Which books, which series did you maybe love or hate and the first book is what turned you off, off of it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.